athlete. Um, and yeah, Tony set up this foundation, I'll let him explain it, but basically he, what he does, all, I mentioned kind of these athletes who are underfunded and don't get the support, what we would expect, and they're gonna be attending the Olympics fully self-funded. And Tony gives them the opportunity to kind of get there and support them along that along that journey. But yeah, Tony, I'll pass on to you and explain what this foundation actually does. I, yeah, thank you very much. Um, just quickly before you go home, it, it's, we, we're quite honored today to be in a position um, as a foundation, as a charity, to actually help the athletes and continue. We support um, young athletes. Um, we give them up to 10,500 euros a year to be able to um, help them. And we also provide them with a, a, what we call a mind and body package. So we'll give them access if they need it to therapists, um, sports psychologists, chiropractors, gym membership, um, and all of that sort of stuff just to make sure that they're safe in what they're doing. Because we really, really do emphasize sort of the, the health and safety and mental, mental health side of um, of the athletes and want to protect them from that. Just giving them money could make their life a lot worse. So we, we actually sort of give them a bit more um, and try and support them as much as we can. And um, during lockdown, we lost probably 200,000 pounds, I would think, um, from fundraisers that would have gone ahead. So um, I'm so happy that loads of people have been doing a massive amount of fundraising and we're in a position now to start drip feeding our athletes some money. So today, I'm very honoured to say that I have a check here from a very um, worthy Maisie, and I'm going to give it to you because you're going to accept it on her behalf. But I can tell yeah. you, you spoke to her this morning. I spoke to Maisie about an hour ago, and she burst into tears because she's flying to Japan. Yeah. So basically, I mentioned just before about this Olympic test event, um, which. Luckily, they are going to have one over in uh, in China, and it's in November. So that's kind of before the World Cup season kicks off. Now, Maisie obviously has got to do everything she possibly can to attend those events because they're the qualifying competitions for the Olympic Games. The only way for Maisie to get there is to self-fund it, as, as I've mentioned. I'm sorry, boring you about that. Essentially, um, to get over to China right now, the flight pathways are not kind of open and free for people to just visit. So they have to do a chartered flight. Now that chartered flight is going to cost each athlete two and a half thousand pounds. And that's before any luggage and stuff like that. So Maisie now has a new bill put into her what she's got to cover for this season. 45,000 a season is exactly. about raises So she's running. just had to put in another kind of three and a half thousand suddenly because the test event is now happening over in China, which she's got to self-fund. So the reason, so she basically was on the phone to me this morning. Um, what do I do? What can I do? I've got to go there and I've got to think about money later. I'm going to have to just try and find a job in the summer. And I was like, right, okay, I was like, trying to work out ways I could help to try and find someone who could maybe possibly do that two and a half grand. But as an athlete, all you're doing is you're 100% focused and zoned in on achieving your goal of making the Olympic Games. So to have that extra stress and pressure to try and work out how to get those funds for something which has just suddenly been dropped in is unbelievable. So I can imagine that she burst into tears because I knew how much she was <laughs> worried about how she could. So that's exactly first hand of what this charity does along with the support you give for kind of mental health and stuff like that for athletes which we forget about because it can be a lonely world out there trying to achieve your dream. Yeah brilliant and um, yeah it's quite an emotional phone call and um, just on for Maisie we had another we, 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 we look at after about four or five athletes and outside of that we're doing some mental health with some other athletes within Team GB as well which is really lovely. Um, because it means we can help them um, and it doesn't cost us the money to fund them but we can help them outside of grant funding. But we have another athlete here today, bless him, little Charlie Lane, 13 years old in Park and Pipe. Um, and I'm very privileged to be able to say that we are giving Charlie Lane 2,000 pounds as well, 2,000 euros, sorry. Now, Charlie. Congrats, I won't Charlie. leave you hanging like I did with uh, Billy yesterday, bless him. When Billy took uh, Maisie Hill's check of 2000 as well. So um, Charlie's going to be the up and coming one to look out for, Park and Pipe. He's also 
I've talked him into going to Free Ride World Tour this year, so let's hope this man starts stomping some of that because that'll be really good for his credibility. So uh, thank you very much. Stand on our website and help us support these athletes because they really do need it. Thank you very much.